up, everybody? How y'all doing today? You know what I'm saying? Hope y'all taking care of y'all set today. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? A like, share, and comment, baby. And smack that dope bell for me, baby. You heard me? And keep God for it, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm going to let this video take off, and I'm going to play catch up at the end, baby. Let's go. Clock, police say the domestic dispute became a hostage situation. <laughs> I'm sure there are plenty of times in life that we've all been given the opportunity to do a good deed for someone else. Whether that be donating clothes, giving someone food or money, or something as simple as giving someone a ride. But sadly, sometimes doing things out of the kindness of your heart doesn't get you that positive reciprocation that you should endure. Sometimes it can cost you your entire life. Tragic story of how one woman's me, act of kindness towards the father of her child turned into a complete nightmare. Set crimes. Pardo was born November 5th of 1991 in Georgetown, Texas. She was raised by her mom and stepdad and would live in a variety of cities, including Honolulu, Hawaii, and Pleasanton, California, before the family finally settled in Austin, Texas, where she would spend a majority of her childhood and adult life. From a young age, Jade was always an it girl. Her friends would describe her as a go-getter and someone who always achieved everything that she put her mind to. She was definitely someone who took pride in her looks, her body, and just her all-around femininity. Jade loved fashion and was always trying new hairstyles, clothing styles, and just everything that she felt like doing because she could. <laughs> It's a lot of orgasms and a lot of good weed, okay? A lot of orgasms. But Jade's world would completely change when she would get into a relationship with Devontae Fox. Devontae was native to the Austin area as well, so the two knew each other prior to the relationship. It seemed as though Jade liked the bad boy type because it is said that Devontae didn't have the best reputation. However, the two would go on to have two beautiful children Elijah and Christian. Both would play an active role in their kids' lives, and although their relationship was on and off, it is said that there's nothing that they both wouldn't do for their children. However, the kids wouldn't be enough of a reason for Jade to want to stick by Devontae's side. Allegedly, Devontae was very controlling and didn't like the way Jade displayed herself on social media. As I stated earlier, Jade is a free spirit, very outgoing, she loved to share her body, her experiences, that include posting on social media, whether it be off on a tropical island somewhere or somewhere local, at the club in Houston, turning up with her girls. Unfortunately, this would make Devante very insecure and very jealous. Jay just wanted the good times and positive vibes with her friends and family. So sometimes in her relationship, this would mean to leave Devante behind. At one point, his negative energy was even affecting her physical health. She had to have thyroid surgery, and at one point in 2022, was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. But luckily, with her resilience, she was able to beat it. I'm getting so many text messages and DMs and stuff. I get it. It's Memorial Day weekend, and y'all would expect me to be outside. Um, however, I am not. Um, a lot of people do not know this, but after my thyroid surgery, um, the pathology test came back and it was cancerous. So I finally went through my radioactive treatment yesterday and um, that drained everything. And I'm not sharing that information to get sympathy because at the end of the day, it's my life. I, people go through shit. I'm not the only one going through shit. Um, it is what it is. But I said that to say this. It is really important and adamant that everyone gets... This is going to be my last video. Um, I have a new profound admiration for people that have cancer. Um, and have to go through chemo and radiation every day, every week. Whatever the case may be. I thank God that mine is less aggressive. 
Um, I don't have to go through this. Pray to Jesus. This is my last time. Um, but it's it's unbelievable. And I love you guys. To the people that didn't already know, and some of y'all just be wondering, do I have cancer or not? Um, I had already had thyroid surgery. So that was already removed. But the radioactive treatment did work. Um, it did what it was supposed to do. The cancer didn't spread anywhere else. And yeah, anyways, you know, life's great. <laughs> and although this was a huge milestone for Jade, sadly, there would be so much more she would have to overcome in her relationship with Devante. On Tuesday, February 7th, 2023, around 1 p.m., the Austin Police Department responded to a disturbance in the 1000 block of Sweet Melissa Drive in Pflugerville, Texas. The caller was Jade. She stated she was dropping off Devante at his residence and that when she tried to leave, he flattened her tire. The officers arrived and spoke with Jade. She received a ride from someone who came, picked her up, and then she left the scene. About an hour later, the Austin Police Department spoke with Jade over the phone she was at a different location, but unfortunately, they couldn't determine where Devante was at this time. Later that evening, around 8 p.m., Austin police officers responded back to the residence for another disturbance call. Except this time, the call came from a neighbor who claims that she heard a man and a woman arguing very loudly outside. Shouting, a man and woman in distress. Amanda Lombard's security cameras picked up this argument outside her neighbor's home around 8 Tuesday night. It was so loud, Austin police were called. It stopped and it became very quiet and you could hear cars leaving, multiple cars leaving, and it became quiet. So I thought it was over. But the worst had just begun. SWAT knocked on Lombard's door. And there were canines. I heard drones. Um, armored vehicles then showed up. Um, and they proceeded to get prepared to enter the home. And that's when things really became more scary. This is the Around 9 o'clock, police say the domestic dispute became a hostage situation. SWAT fanned out, setting up at Lombard's neighbors' homes as well. On their roofs, um, in their homes on the second floor with, you know, weapons drawn and aimed and were hunkered down in their bathrooms. Um, so it was pretty traumatizing for the entire neighborhood. Around 12.30 in the morning, SWAT entered the home, ending that hostage situation. It was so loud and there were loud booms and flashes of light, yelling. Um, it was just a very chaotic scene and it looked like a war zone. It was very surreal and seemed like it was a movie. One person was dead, another had life-threatening injuries. It looks like it was, you know, confined to just the two people that were involved. Unfortunately, Jade would lose her life at the hands of the father of her child. He would then go on to attempt to take his own life, but would be unsuccessful, at least for the first couple days. That is, until a few days later, on February 11th, Devante would succumb to his injuries. This entire situation is such a tragedy because now both families are at a complete loss for their loved ones. The children are now without both parents, all because someone wanted to make a selfish decision. Let this be a lesson to all that when you see the signs, when you see the red flags, don't have one foot in, one foot out. Completely leave the situation I know it's a lot easier said than done, but sadly, a lot of women end up in this predicament all because they didn't leave sooner. All right, y'all. We I'm don't know video, what he would have. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna leave that video up there. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, I can understand. I'm gonna say this here, right? No man ain't got no reason to, to really, you know what I'm saying? Zip no woman up at all. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, I understand when he was trying to say, you know, he didn't want his baby mama to be out here flaunting and showing, you know what I'm saying, her body doing stuff, you know what I'm saying, make him look embarrassed and make his homeboy look at his baby mama a certain way or making people look at his baby mama a certain way, you feel what I'm saying? I guess he was trying to produce her to be a, 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 a mature lady 
You know what I'm saying? Because she, he, them two, he know he got kids by this woman. You feel what I'm saying? But his controlling came more angry of him trying to tell her what to do, instead of trying to show her what to do is how do you can, you know what I'm saying? How you show a woman how to do, how to protect herself. You know what I'm saying? She'll react real slow towards that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she won't jump on board right then and there, but it's you as being a man and you trying to show her, protect herself as a lady. You feel what I'm saying? Della surely, for sure, you know what I'm saying, a grow on her. You feel what I'm saying? She ain't going to react weak, day later, two weeks later. You feel what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's this trend they got going around. Like, everybody want to be a copycat. Everybody want to dress you know what I'm saying, you know, see-through stuff, you know what I'm saying, showing their boobs and all this and that, they're dressed half-naked and all this and that, they're, you know what I'm saying. This world come to be a real habitat towards that, you feel what I'm saying? And it's like, you know what I'm saying, the women's call themselves ladies, they don't know that, yeah, okay, you's a little girl, you ain't no lady and you ain't no grown woman, you feel what I'm saying? Because only little girls do things that, People do around the world now, like grown adults show their body and well, skimpy stuff, see through stuff, panties on, this see through, that see through. You feel what I'm saying? So this world is getting to be a rare habitat towards that. And and you know, and, and uh, some people say he was jealous of her. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe he wasn't. Maybe he just ain't like how she was flaunting herself on a certain way. You feel what I'm saying? Maybe he ain't want nobody to see her just like that, only just him. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it would have been a good relationship. Maybe it wouldn't. You feel what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you met this woman who she was, you feel what I'm saying? You cannot change this person who she is. Just like a man. You can't change a man who, who a man is. You can sit back and say, well, you know what? If I marry him, you know what I'm saying? I can change him. No. You can't change a person because you married that person. You feel what I'm saying? Because how you going to change someone that don't want to be changed? Or don't want to be trained. You feel what I'm saying? You got to understand. It's a different tactic that how you got to go at things that when you meeting or dating anybody. You feel what I'm saying? You got to figure out how they move, what they move when you, how they what, like to dress, how they like to do. If you meet a woman in the club and that's how she dressed, guess what? You got to accept that woman who she is because you met her wearing skimpy stuff. You met her how she do things all on the internet. You feel what I'm saying? So, you can't put in your head that you can change this woman. Only thing you can do, just be a man and stand up. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't like how she dressed, up and leave her. You feel what I'm saying? Then when she feel like she don't lost someone good, guess what? She'll come back to herself and she'll humble herself to you. You feel what I'm saying? And she'll respect what you were trying to show her and teach her. But other than that, you started trying to beat a woman or abuse a woman and be there because she don't want to change. She don't want to change how you want her to dress. You feel what I'm saying? You cannot maintain a woman like that. That's just like a man. If you be the dude in the street and he different type of woo, 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 woo. You cannot change that man. You feel what I'm saying? You can agonize him all day you want. You can talk down to him. You can call him all type of names all you want. He ain't going to change. Only way he going to change unless he want to change. But, it's, it, but how can you change a person and then... You know what I'm saying? And they really ain't changing they self by through God. You feel what I'm saying? If you don't find nobody ain't changing they self for God, what make you think they're going to change they self for you? They can't. They ain't going to do it. You feel what I'm saying? It's going to be up to that person. You feel me? But for this dude can do that to her, you know what I'm saying? Zip his own baby mama. Then he took his... He, uh, he, 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 he took his life because he died probably about a week, a week later, something like that there. You feel what I'm saying? Because he really ain't come to, to his injury anyway. You feel me? But at the same time, these kids don't lost both both parents. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? It's a sad situation, but much prayer, more blessing go out to everybody. But, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't listening to how I spit on him, you feel what I'm saying? I hope I be the one can change your thoughts the way you think. You feel me? Because quit trying to be a trendsetter. Quit trying to be a copycat. Quit trying to be a dupe boy, a dupe girl to certain things that everybody else doing. You know what I'm saying? You can follow your own lane. You feel what I'm saying? If other people want to dress skimpy, you feel what I'm saying? But see, by this internet, everybody, they figure if they show skin, you feel what I'm saying? That's how they getting paid, but they don't know. You really selling selling your body on the, you ain't laying down with them.
but you're still selling your body. You see what I'm saying? Because you're getting paid by showing skin. You feel what I'm saying? A certain, a showing certain parts of your body. You feel what I'm saying? And dudes and men, they pay you for that because you know why? Them is, them is goofy men. Them is loony to men. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not finna do all that. You feel? I never went. I went to. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I went to a strip club one time, and I said to myself, "You think I'm finna begin?" And I went there. I ain't dropped no dollars, no dollars at all. I said to myself, "You think I'm finna be throwing my money up in here?" You know what I'm saying? I'm in the street. You know what I'm saying? Risking my life for this and that and woo woo no. You know what I'm saying? Man, if I want to see some man who I got, they can do the same thing. You get what I'm saying? You got to do the make your own little disco thing or whatever. If y'all together or not, you feel what I'm saying? But you find married men, they still go to strip club. Woo, 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 woo. Why you going to strip club? You got a married woman home. If you want a pole in your crib and in between you and her, you buy a pole in your crib. You know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? Let her watch a video that she know how to dance or whatever. Woo, woo. If she don't, that's cool, too. If you got a solid woman and she ain't about that, you know what I'm saying? You should worry about going to the strip, strip club to find someone that's dance better than different in your wife and show certain things that you ain't seen. You feel what I'm saying? You should have took the time out to stay single, go to the strip club, and get all that stuff out you so when you do meet your wish, guess what? You know what to look for. You know what you want and you know what you don't want in your relationship. You feel me? And I stand no team, no business on that. You know what I'm saying? It's all up to that person, man. You know what I'm saying? So you got to do your homework on each other. If you don't do your homework on each other, guess what? Both of y'all lose. You feel me? And I stand on that. So, you know, that's the end, my good people. I'm going to scratch that. You know what I'm saying? So my good people, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, and smack that doorbell for me, baby. You hear me? And keep God first, baby, over everything. So on this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone.